All right, guys. So we're going to get cracking. Uh, we've got, I think, who have we got? We've got a couple of 16s. So if there's any 16s or anyone that's got any resistance in terms of like dumbbells or hand weights or anything they want to use, grab it now because we're going to do our strength session. Make sure we've got our mini band. Wait, make sure we've got a drink bottle uh, and our foam roller if you've got it and a bit of space, okay? So we're doing our strength session tonight. So if you're looking at the program or you have looked at the program, it's session A. Okay, session A, strength. We'll get into our mobility. Grab my roller. I'll spotlight my video quickly so you guys can see me nice and easy. Bang, spotlight. Now I can go back and see you guys. Perfect. So, mobility, get your roller, get your band nearby. We don't need our band just yet. We're doing our ankle mobility. Again, so we're doing our knee touches. Toes are 10 centimeters back from the, uh, from the roller as a guide. And I'm just leaning forward, knees over toes. Nice, gentle, sort of rocking back and forth, stretching out that Achilles, getting those knees over toes. Here we go, and then left leg. All right, we're into our second week of, uh, of, this, of this phase now, so we're gonna, we're gonna pick things up a little bit. We've got, we've got an extra set on every exercise tonight. Extra set on every exercise, so uh, a little bit starting to progressively ramp things up again, progressively overload a bit before we taper back off before school holidays. So we've got our Spider-Man, got our Spider-Man uh, uh, squats. So again, if you can, we're just coming down, almost touching our toes, or trying to touch your toes with a straight leg, getting a nice hamstring and lower back stretch. But if you can't get all the way down, bend your knees. Okay, bend your knees. Bring your elbows on the inside. Bring your elbows on the inside of your uh, of your knees. All right, and your hands are just under your toes, so they're just sort of gently sitting under your toes. And we're just applying some pressure outwards. Just applying a little bit of gentle pressure with our elbows. We're going to keep our left arm, our left hand under our left foot and turn and look up at our hand. Two big deep breaths. Really fill your tank with those deep breaths. In that mobility, Sarah, probably sit this one out, mate. All right, and we're going to go to our right leg there. And then just turn and look at our hands. All right, all good. And we can stand up. Very good. Grab our uh, mini band. Hopefully you've all got your mini band. Grab your mini band now. Chuck it around your ankles. And we're going with our crab walks and our, and our mini band series. So we've got our mini band series. So I'm jumping back on the left side of my screen. I'm down in a stance. Okay, I'm down in my defensive stance. Nice and wide, nice and low. And I'm just pushing out to my right, crab walking across for five. If you've got space to do 10, feel free to do 10. I go five, so I go back and forth twice. Here's my second set. Beauty. There we go. Good stuff, guys. Keep the bands around your ankles. We've got our jab step. Move my, uh, move my screen back a little bit so you can see my feet. Hopefully, so we've got our jab step. So keep, keep the band around your ankles. We've got our, our fake sort of jab step without our basketball. So we're ripping, jabbing forward, 10 on each leg. Jabbing forward, warming up that hip flexor. Yep, getting that active, getting that nice and strong against the resistance of our band. Really good work, guys. You can come up onto the ball on that back foot, and then I'm ripping with my left leg. Good job, Evie. Get the basketball if you've got it. If you've got the basketball, great. If you want to use one, hold it in your hands and remember to rip from hip to knee. Hip to knee. So ripping high to low. All right, rip high to low. Getting good habits. If you've done 10 forward, now we're going 10 back. So boom, we just step back. This one can just be straight back. Okay, we don't have to make this one out on a 45. That's just a normal sort of a kickback as if we were taking off for a sprint. We're just squeezing that glute, pushing back and squeezing that glute. Again, 10 on each leg. And uh, we'll get into our, uh, get straight into our squat. Keep your band with you because our squats, we will, we will use the band, okay? 
you older kids or kids with a bit more experience in resistance training, grab a kettlebell, grab some dumbbells, whatever you like. Grab your dog, I don't mind. Get some resistance, all right? Quick break. Let's bring our band up above our knees. Band up above our knees, we're into the second week, so we're going now, what do we got? Three sets of six. Okay, we'll probably go two sets just to get through everything. So two sets of six, so we're adding a rep rather than adding a set. So two sets of six. Remember, if you don't have a weight as resistance, there's many ways you can add resistance. Um, time is one of them. Okay, so increasing the slow downward, increasing the time we take to go down, but always exploding up. That's one way of increasing the resistance. Let's do two sets of six. Here we go. Sitting back into our squat, hold for a second, explode up. So I'm gonna go three, two, one on the way down, explode up, finish with glutes. Three, two, one, explode up. Three, two, one, explode up from the front on. Make sure my knees are tracking over my toes. Three, two, one, explode up. Last one for me. Three, two, one, explode up. Good job, that's one set, we got two. I'm gonna come around and watch the second set. Okay, so you can have a breather, have a drink, have a seat if you need to and go into your second set. 30 seconds rest in between exercises is about right. Good job. I like it, Maddie. Changing it up. Good man. Add some explosiveness in there. Great job. Just Piper and Cody tonight. No Jonty. Did you guys, what did you guys do to him? Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> He's, <laughs> what have you done with him? <laughs> Good job. Excellent. Good read. Concentrate, mate. Come on. Concentrate. You're chewing your fingers while you're doing squats. Come on. Concentrate. Get your arms forward like you're riding that motorbike. Good job, Chase. Separate your knees a little bit, Chase. Good, Evie. That's a good squat. Luna, that's enough. Good work. But oh, there he is. He's alive. Excellent. Uh, second set of squats. If you haven't done them, work I'm your way cooking. through them. What's that? Cooking dinner. I'm cooking dinner. Oh, you're cooking dinner. Jeez, good boy. Well done. There you go. What are you guys having? Two minute noodles or something? Jonty's cooking. <laughs> good job, guys. Chase, just quickly, uh, we're through our second set there, mate. But make sure, and this is a message for everyone, make sure your knees. Your knees are a, a hip distance apart, okay? I know it's basic, but it's important to stick to the basics. We can't have our feet together when we're doing a squat. All right, that's not really good for us. We want a nice solid base, just like we're about to start a defensive stance or we're about to shoot a jump shot. We want to make sure our knees track in line over our toes. So in the same direction as our toes. The band, the band's just there to help provide some activation for our glutes. All right, chuck the bands off. Uh, actually, we're going, to be going, we're going down to our glute bridges now. So you can keep the band around your knees if you want. Okay, glute bridges, you guys that are outside, just be careful on the concrete there, Evie and uh, Denver. We're gonna be down, we're doing some, we're doing some uh, glute bridges. Okay, glute bridges. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm silly, I remove the uh, band, but we can chuck the band back around just above our knees. Okay, we've got our feet, we've got our feet where we can still twist to the side and touch our heels. Okay, we should still be able to rotate through our obliques and touch our heels. And then we're pushing up into that, into that glute bridge. All right, we've got, we've got two sets of eight. Okay, so we're doing eight reps, eight reps and two sets here. Here we go, I'll do eight with you and then I'm gonna come and look at your form. So pushing up. If I survive this lunar attack, I'll come up and see you fall. No, no, mate. Come on. Make sure again you start from a nice, oh, you start from a nice solid base. Okay, make sure you've got your lower back pressing gently against the ground before you push up, hips to the sky, 
straight line, straight line from my shoulders all the way to my knee. Okay, here we go. There's my eight. I'm coming to watch the second set for you guys, okay? I'm seeing a few. Yeah, pretty good. I'm seeing some feet. Yeah, no, that's really good. Everyone's form's good. Good job, Sarah. Hopefully that's not causing you too many issues. Second set. Good job, Reed. Squeeze all the way up. You can squeeze your hips up pretty explosively. This movement can be done quite explosively. Um, good job, Chase. Remember, it's not a race, mate. Come, come slowly down. So, Maddie, that's perfect. So, really slow eccentric, explosive uh, upwards movement, okay? Because that's like that sprint takeoff, that jumping movement. We want that snap at our hips. That's really good, guys. Excellent. Wouldn't hurt you to get down there, Matt, if you're, uh, if you're available, mate. Just uh, push-ups are coming up next if you feel like challenging the big fella. All right, guys, second set. Grab a quick drink if you're done. I can see a few of you are finished if you need a drink. We're going into push-ups. All right, so we've got two sets. Two sets, as many as we can possibly do. All right, I know, I know some of you like to aim for last time I, I put a bit of a challenge out there so you made it a bit competitive. I, I want to do that again. I want to see if we can get between 40 and 50. But I'm, I'm going to do one set really quickly and then I'm going to come and watch your form because I reckon there's some, there's some dodgy form going on there. And I, I, I don't want to count. I don't want anyone getting 70 or 80 and, uh, yeah, not, uh, and not doing it properly. So, all right. Here we go. We're going to go down. Graham, Paul Glaze has joined us. Yes. Here we go. So two sets. So you're going to do, don't do one set of 50 or anything silly like that. I reckon the target for all of you would be 20. If you need to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. Otherwise, we're on our toes. If you're on your knees, you've still got your hips locked like so. Okay? Everyone else, we're up on our toes. Here we go. Four. Good job. I'm coming up after my set. Nine. Good job, I got 20. Nice and strict. I'm coming to watch the form on this second set. If we're into our second set, shake it out, have a breather, and into your second set. Really good. Really good. If you're doing them on your knees, that's perfect. Make sure you've got your hips locked in. That's good. We should all basically be up to that point now. Zach, keep your elbows tucked in, mate. Okay? Elbows should be going pretty well in line with your body. They don't have to touch your body. They need to go sort of back towards your toes. You might have your hands too far forward there, mate. That's it. Good job. Perfect. Yep. Hands directly under shoulders. Better, Cam. Better. Good job. Good job, Sarah. Good job, Reed. How are you going, Chase? You're getting some coaching from mum? Good. I can't see you there, so that's good. Good job, mate. Keep those elbows. So it's almost like a jump shot. If you think about where your hands would be for a jump shot... You don't have to have your elbow tucked perfectly into your body, like cramping you in here, but you, want to have it, you don't want to have it any wider than that. Okay, as we put it, we don't want to see chicken wings like this, but just like that. So really be guided by where your fingers are pointing, all right? If your fingers are pointing at each other, that's not great. You want your fingers pointing up, same direction your head's pointing, okay? That should help get our elbows aligned a little bit. Great work, guys. How do we go? All good. I'm seeing a couple of numbers. 60, good effort. 60, you got to work on that form, Zach. That form was shoddy. 55, good job, Evie. Well done. Guessing you beat Denver. I haven't seen Denver score. I'm just guessing you beat Denver. I'll just assume you did. Well done. Good job. Oh, Maddie's back. Good job, guys. All right, so that's our two sets of push-ups. We're going into our split squats now. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> Evie got 55 Denver. Is that what you're trying to say? So two sets of eight with our split squats. Here we go. So split squats. Again, if you've got weight or you've got some resistance, don't be silly. But if you want to hold on to something, you can either hold it 
You can hold it in your chest like a goblet or what we call a goblet hold or front hold or anterior hold here at the front. Whereas if you've got two things, if you've got two things, you can, you can hold two things of equal weight if you've got it. Whatever you like. Split squat, aka our lunges. We start from our knees, we start from down on one knee and we go up. All right, so we push up from there and we're doing eight on each leg. Let's go. We've got our back leg, we're on the ball of our back foot. Okay, so we're not flat footed. We're not flat footed, we're on the ball of our back foot. Here we go, I'm doing one set. I'm gonna come and check the form. I reckon you guys have got it pretty well under control. Right leg now. Start from the ground up, get your position right. Again, a little bit of shin, shin angles, not too bad. Okay, if you've got a little bit of knees over toes, that's okay. Ball on my back foot, pushing up, pushing up, squeezing that back glute as I come up, squeezing that back glute, coming down. Good job. Good job. Last one, excellent. Uh, have a breather in between sets, about 30 seconds. And then I'll watch that second set. Let's get a bit more separation, that front leg there, Reed. I don't mind a bit of knees over toes, but that back knee shouldn't be coming that close to your front ankle. So that back knee still needs to drop. Yep, that's better, perfect. Good job, bit too wide, Zach, bit too long. Bit too long, that's better, good job. Job Denver. Good job, Evie, good goblet hold. Try and keep your back a little straighter, Evie. So when you're coming down, I know it seems natural, that sprinter stance to go to there, but for this, we, we, wanna, we wanna stay fairly upright. Yeah, we wanna keep our center of gravity over the midline of that lunge. Really good, guys. Good job, Matt. Good work, guys, keep working. We have two sets of these, good job, Cam. You can even mark something on the floor. When you get your feet set, you can mark something on the floor to use that as a guide where you need to touch your knee to so you get your distance pretty, pretty well set. That's good stuff. All right. Next exercise. Just checking the chat here. Always chasing Zach, just racing each other, I think. Okay, good stuff. All right, so all right, we're going to do our plank. We're into our plank. So we've got two sets of 60 seconds for our plank. Two sets of 60 seconds. Come down here into our plank. Okay, remember we've got our option. You can do the plank on your knees if you like. Oh God, where is it? Look much he wants to attack me. So again, you can do it on your knees. You've got your hips locked in. Okay, or we're up on our toes. All right, up on our toes. On our, on our forearms, a low plank. If you really want a bit more of a challenge, the stability in your shoulders, come into like the top of a push-up. So you can hold on your hands in the top of a push-up. Okay? I'm gonna do one set and then I'm gonna come look at you guys. I'm keeping time. We're 60 seconds, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, 60 seconds, come up into that plank. We want a straight line from our shoulders bent down to our heels. All right, so I should be able to rest a broom. Okay, I should be able to rest a broom on my back and it pretty much, oh, Luna's just turned my phone off. And it pretty much will touch every part of my body all the way down to my heels. Hey, you right, Luna? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Keep going guys, that's 30 seconds. Oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> this is good mental strength. We're just trying to chew my hands, chew my arms. 10 seconds, keep going, 10 seconds, hold strong. Squeeze through your glutes, don't come out of that position. Three, two, one, come down. Good job. Good work. Have about, have about 15, 20 seconds break and we're gonna go again. I'm gonna come watch your form. Hopefully you guys have learned now that you can really look at that camera for feedback. 
So if you can see yourself in that camera, that's the beauty of these sessions sometimes, is you can actually see your plank form, you can see your squat form a little bit. It's really good instant feedback having that. It's almost like we're watching a game tape. You can get that instant feedback on what you're doing. All right, coming into position to start again. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Good job. Excellent. Get those shoulders over your hands, Zach. Hands might be a bit too far forward, but get your bum, bum down. So you're in the top of a push-up position. Good job, Cam. That's perfect. Sarah, take it easy. That's really good form. Good job, Reed. Perfect form, mate. Elbows directly under shoulders. Terrific. Matty Polglaze, really good. Piper and Cody, terrific. Well done. Good, guys. Keep working. Halfway. Keep working. Halfway. Don't look up, Piper. I'll tell you. <laughs> Come back down. Good job, Matty. Keep working. Evie in Denver, keep working. I know. If you come out of the plank, come back into it. It's okay. 60 seconds is a long plank. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. It's good stuff. If you need to drop down, drop down. Come back up. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Have a breather. Get a drink. Have a breather. Get a quick drink. And we've got car phrases to finish off. Car phrases to finish off. Really good. All right, we've got three sets of 20. Okay, so I wanna mix it up a little bit today because we've got a bit of time up our sleeve. We're making really good time just with the two sets. So we're gonna go three set, uh, sorry, two sets of 20. The first set, I'm gonna use the wall over here. So excuse me, I'm sort of turning my back to you. Okay, I'm gonna go both legs at the same time, right? So I'm coming up, one, two, okay? Then the second set, I'm gonna do 20 on single leg. So adding just that little bit of overload. So the second set, I wanna do single leg calf raises, first set, double. Unless you wanna do both sets as a double, all right? Oh, sorry, as a, like single leg. If you wanna do both sets, single leg, 20 on each, that's fine, it's gonna take you a little longer. Here we go. Right up on your tippy toes. Again, slow downwards. So bring your heels to the ground nice and slow. Pop up, slow down. Pop up, slowly down. Good job. I'm not sure how good the camera is here, whether you guys can see the dirty ball marks on my wall. So that's, I've been playing handball against Luna. Play handball with a tennis ball against Luna. She doesn't hit the ball, she just bites it and runs away with it. So she's, she's undefeated, but it's fun until she gets the ball. Isn't it, mate? All right, once we've got 20, have a breather. If you're doing 20 on either leg, you're probably only about halfway through right now. Okay, so switch to the other leg and go again. Those that have done two legs, have a break and come back and we're gonna go single leg for the, for the second set. Really good work tonight, guys. Remember, we've got this session again on Thursday, okay? I know, I think we stuffed up last week. It wasn't actually included on the calendar. It's gonna run 6 p.m. on Thursday as well for anyone that missed out tonight or for anyone that wants to get another session in. All right, so now we're up on our toes. I'm gonna to do single legs. So I'm going right leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, down there, seven. Okay, I'm going single leg, and then I'm coming to my left foot. Again, popping up off the carpet. Now I've got some resistance. Okay, and then I'm swapping to my left leg for 20. If you guys have done, if you've finished, if you've done two sets of, you've done two sets on two on, on both legs at the same time, grab your foam roller. We'll do a quick warm down tonight. Oh. John, thank you. Sit. Ah, uh, no, that's okay. Oh, 20, all right. 
Grab the foam roller if you've done. If you're still going, keep working. If you're still going, keep working. We've got time. We've got a couple of minutes. We're going to foam roll our glutes first. So you guys keep going if you're on single leg. I'm going to start on my right glute. So I'm getting my right ankle and I'm resting it up on my left knee. And I'm just coming gently back and forth. So tomorrow, hoops fit in the morning with, that, uh, with Cassie, sorry. Hoops fit in the morning if you want to jump in on that. Get a sweat up before school. Um, then Thursday, we've got, again, with me on, on the same time as tonight, 6 p.m., if you want another strength session. Uh, I might throw some different exercises in that one just to mix it up. Just some different stuff, some different styles of training. We might do some skipping, some different stuff. Friday morning this week, we've got Body and Mind again. I'm going to lead that session this week. Uh, so it'll be a similar session to what Michelle ran last week. We're going to do some Pilates again. Uh, so some, some real core strengthening exercises. We'll probably incorporate a little bit more yoga. So we'll probably warm up quickly, do some foam rolling, then get straight into some yoga, then some Pilates. I'm going to foam roll an ITV right now. So I'm coming over my side and I'm coming back and forth. And we will finish the session Friday morning with some guided meditation. So that might be very different to you guys, might be something you've never thought of doing before. You don't have to be on camera to do that. You can switch your camera off. I don't mind, you can follow along with me or you can just, you don't have to do it at all if you don't want to. It's just there as an option. I'm a big advocate for, for meditation. Uh, it's a part of my practice. I try and do it every day, if not every other day. Uh, really, really good, especially right now when there's a lot of things going on in the world, to just come back to your breath and, uh, and just helps you center you and it helps you, helps you get centered uh, and, and, and gives you a really good kickstart for the rest of the day. So I highly recommend meditation as a practice and we're going to work on some, uh, some really basic techniques on Friday morning. So I'm on my other ITV now. I'm just going to quickly do my calves. We've just done a bunch of calf raises. Quickly do our calves. If you guys want to do your quads and your hammies, please do. If not, guys, we are finished for tonight. Really good. If there's any stretches you want to do, basic uh, quad stretches, calf stretches. If you want to do a hip flexor stretch, it can some, not, sometimes it'd be good just to do the mobility we did at the start of the session, but essentially do it in reverse. So you can do your hip mobility again, or you can just come down like our lunge movement, like our lunge movement, and just gently squeezing that glute and pushing that hip forward. You want to stretch out your hips a little bit. Calves, we know, we know. Calves, we know we can push the wall down. Okay, or we can come into we can come into a bit of a, a paddle. We can actually paddle our feet back and forth a little bit. Okay. Up to you guys if you want to do some extra stretching. Please do, but that's the end of our actual session tonight. So thank you guys. Uh, look forward to seeing you again Thursday if, you, if you're tuning in. Uh, if not, jump in on one of our other sessions with Cassie or uh, Friday. Friday this week as well, our Train With Me session uh, will be with Saray, Saray Taylor. Uh, it plays for the Southside Flyers, so you guys are really lucky to have her running the session Friday. She'll be terrific. Uh, and those girls, I hope you enjoyed uh, the session last night with, with Courtney Wilkins. So thank you, guys. Uh, stay happy. Stay healthy. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly back. So stay positive. Control what you can control. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. See you, Chase. See you later, guys. Have a good night. See you, Piper. See you later.